Well, the weather was near perfect today, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Kate is <laughs> tracking rain for tomorrow. She's back with a full forecast. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's that tired of the spring and the sunshine that we've had over the past four days. But if you are, if you like the rain, well, we got tomorrow. It's kind of a gray, gloomy day on the way with fog, low clouds, and then some pockets of heavy downpours in the afternoon. Right now, you can see the fog has not quite rolled in just yet. It's still pretty quiet out there, pretty clear. Clouds are starting to move in tonight, but it's going to take a little while before we really start to see the system move through. In fact, it's really tomorrow late afternoon and evening that we're talking heaviest rain, but fog, mist, and drizzle will be around for much of the day. 50 degrees right now in Philadelphia, 51 in Allentown. It's still 57 in Reading. That is warm. 49 in Millville and 46 down in Wildwood. Storm scan 3 right now, looking clear, but as we widen out, you can see these showers are getting closer. There's a large scale system. You can see the swirl of clouds and rain here over portions of the upper Midwest, kind of connecting to more moisture transport down across the deep south. And this is going to fill in throughout the day tomorrow as moisture lifts north, scattered showers in the morning, and then some heavier downpours throughout the afternoon. So this is 815. Your morning commute, you'll have some fog, low visibility out there, scattered showers, but it does take a little while before the heaviest rain moves in. 1115, we're still dealing with light rain and showers drizzle here and there, but it picks up in intensity throughout the evening. The evening commute looks wet. 545 pockets of heavy rain coming down throughout the region. That'll continue through at least 8 or 9 o'clock and then it does move out. Fog sticks around though. Thursday morning we're going to be socked in with fog. It's one of those days where finally once the clouds break you get some nice weather. The sun comes out and temperatures surge into the 70s but it's going to take a little while for that to happen. You can see why. Tomorrow morning visibility is close to zero. Fog in place. Not great visibility throughout the day and then Thursday morning right through about 8 or 9 a.m. Low, low visibility with areas of dense fog. This first system will bring us anywhere from one to two inches of rain, some locally higher amounts right along the I-95 corridor throughout tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to be a slow go throughout tomorrow. 47 tonight with those areas of fog. And then tomorrow, showers in the morning, rain in the afternoon, the high around 60 degrees. Thursday's nice and warm, but then Thursday night into Friday, another chance for showers. Warm front lifts north Friday morning, and then Friday looks like the warmest day of the year so far. Not the nicest day of the year, though. There will be scattered shower and thunderstorm chances, and it will turn very windy in the afternoon as a cold front moves through. But the high briefly gets to near 80 degrees. Then it is cooler over the weekend. Mm -hmm. We're back to the mid-60s. Saturday looks great. Sunday, not as great with another thunderstorm chance. So it's a little bit, we talked about a theme park here, Yuki. It's mm -hmm. a little bit like a roller coaster here. Every other day is pretty nice. The other ones, not so much. All right. Ooh, I heard you say almost 80. Woo. All right. Thank you, Kate.